Where was I on April 1st, 1990? I have no idea. Am I supposed to know? Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, click that big red, you know, it's the red one down here. It says subscribe down below, and then click that bell notification icon because I'm awesome, you're awesome, and we should be awesome together, and I upload three times a week, and you need to know about it. Today I am doing the 20 flashback questions tag, and I have not read these questions, um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to fail. And I was tagged about a month ago by Prudent Joy, and I will put a link down to her channel. I absolutely love her channel. Her snowflake videos just motivate me so much. I just, I love watching her just put a little burst of money to debt. That just, it always makes me smile. She is going through a divorce right now and my heart breaks for her, but she is handling it with such grace and I am so proud of her. And I appreciate that she tagged me and because I dropped the ball so miserably, I am, I'm not going to tag anybody, but I'm going to rather open up this tag. So if you have not done this tag, you do have to be a little bit older. So all of you 20, early 20 somethings probably can't do this tag because you probably weren't even alive for most of it. But if you would like to do this tag, I would love to tag you in it. So tag. So I will put a link to Prudent Joy's um, channel down in my description box. Go check her out. Give her some love. She is absolutely awesome. Question number one. Did you own a red leather jacket? No, I've never owned a red leather jacket. I've owned red leather shoes and a red leather purse, but not a, le a red leather jacket. I have, however, also owned a lime green leather jacket and a navy blue leather jacket and a tan leather jacket and a black leather jacket. But I got all of those when I was living in Columbia, so it was way past the fad of cool. Number two, where were you on April 1st, 1990? I don't know, is April 1st, 1990 an important date? I feel like it is. Let me go look. I'm gonna have to check on the Google. April 1st, what? Well, the comedy channel started transmitting. And, of course, in WrestleMania, the Ultimate Warrior beat Hulk Hogan. So, apparently, April 1st, 1990 is not an important date in history. But, it is, um, I was a senior in high school in 1990. I have admitted how old I am on YouTube. So, there is no shame in admitting that I was in high school in 1990. Um, I was getting ready to graduate. I think we graduated in June. So, I was probably looking for a prom dress. Ooh, if I can find a picture of my prom, I'll insert it here, but it's probably in the storage unit. Number three, are you familiar with the phrase business in the front, party in the back? I in fact am, and yes, I actually had that haircut. Not the guy's version, obviously, but you remember when like wings were popular, that mullet kind of thing where it was short right here and then long? I had one, I was cool. I'm a fan of the mullet, they should bring it back. Number four, what is my favorite music genre? I don't have a favorite. I love all kinds of music. When I was in high school, I loved classic rock. I liked big hair metal bands for a while. The Cure, Depeche Mode, I, they, everything back then I liked. There's very few music categories that I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of jazz. Um, Mauricio loves jazz and it is not something I enjoy. But I like classical, I like, I'm, I'm getting to like country. I didn't like country for a really long time, but I'm kind of getting used to it. I like the more poppy country. Probably my very, very, very favorite music is what I listen to when I work out, and that's like um, Pitbull, Enrique Iglesias, Florida. Number six, who was my my celebrity teen crush. Well, I, I, I guess it depends on the age that you're talking about. I had a huge crush of, on John Schneider from the Dukes of Hazzard when I was real little. And then later on when I was in like high school, it was John Cusack. I still like John Cusack. I actually drove by him one day when I was living in LA. And um, his... That shirt is way too small. 
It's it's Saints Day. We're all about the Saints. Maybe this is your next question is who is your favorite music artist of all time? I don't know that I have one. It changes so frequently I can't really say that I have one. Number seven, who sang better? Lionel Richie, Frankie Valley, Michael Bolton, or Luther Bandros? Hmm. I like Michael Bolton. I like Luther Bandros. I like Lionel Richie. I am too young for Frankie Valley. So honestly, all three of them were not exactly at the same time. And I like, or all four of those, none of them were at the same time. So um, I'm going to have to say I like them all. Number eight, are you brave enough to admit to dancing to Pete Burns in the mirror with a hairbrush? I'm assuming this is a Tom Cruise uh, risky business reference, but I'm going to have to check because I legitimately don't know. Oh, dead or alive. Oh my goodness, he just died. Yeah, since I didn't know that, we're going to go with no. I did dance with a hairbrush and I did, oddly enough, when I dance, sometimes I did ballet dancing in the mirror. I don't know. Number nine, who is your favorite female artist of all time? Don't have one. Same, same thing. Number 10, what is your favorite Prince song? I love Prince. I've always loved Prince. I gotta say, though, the one I always come back to is Darlin' Nikki because it's so inappropriate. But it's a good song. I like it. Number 11. What was your favorite TV show during the 90s? Uh, duh. Friends. Baby. I am a huge Friends fan. And Mauricio and I, when we first got married, watched, I had the entire series on DVD. And I love, love, loved it. And I made him watch it. And he didn't speak much English, so we watched it with subtitles. Well, we have recently started watching it again, and he finds it hilarious because he actually understands all the jokes now. Because sometimes in translations, it, the jokes really don't translate well. So number 12, who is Felix the cat? Is that Garfield? No, that's Garfield the cat. Who is Felix the cat? Let's Google it and see. Felix the cat. Yeah, I don't know Felix the cat. Felix the Cat is from the 1950s, apparently. I don't know who Felix is. I, I was not born in the 50s. I was born in the 70s. Next one. Do you believe that Prince hypnotized people with, your, with his eyes? No. Nobody can do that. That's silly. Number 14. What is your favorite Michael Jackson song? That would be Thriller. I am not a huge Michael Jackson fan because of the kind of person he was. Um, I should say accused of, but, um, but I loved Thriller when it came out and we rented a VHS player. Actually, I think it might've been even a Betamax for my birthday when it came out and we watched the whole making of the Thriller video with me and like five of my girlfriends and loved it. Love, love, loved it. And then promptly had nightmares about it. Number 15, can you finish this lyric? Color me your color, baby. Color me your car. Uh, um, that's Blondie. Color me your color, baby. Color me your car. Color me your color, baby. I know who you are or something like that. I, I don't know. I got the song going in my head, but I haven't listened to it in so long. I'm sure if I listened to it, the words would come back. Pick one. David Bowie, Michael Jackson, salt and Peppa, Blondie, Whitney Houston, Bootsy Collins, or George Clinton. Okay. Hate David Bowie. I'm sorry for all you David Bowie lovers, but David Bowie creeps me out. He gives me the willies. And like in Moana, that like Bowie-esque song, it creeps me out equally as much. I just don't like David Bowie. Michael Jackson, I am not a fan, as I previously stated. Salt and Peppa, eh, they were fine. I, I, if I never heard him again, my life would go on. Blondie, I loved as a kid. Whitney Houston, I also loved... But I don't love her life, so not a huge fan. Uh, Bootsy Collins, I don't know who that is. Or George Clinton, not a clue. So of those, I guess Blondie, I, I loved Blondie. Love, love, loved Blondie. And I liked Whitney Houston's music also. Number 17, have you ever worn an earring with a key or a feather? Yes, I've actually worn an earring with a key and a feather. 
So yeah, I have. And actually look at these earrings. I wore these in honor. I own a couple of pairs of earrings from that I wore when I was a little kid. And these are some of them. Aren't they funny? Number 18, who is Alf? Alf is that alien thing that looks kind of like a dog. Number 19, which famous musician was in Jim Henson's The Labyrinth? I have no clue. Let me look it up. Oh, David Bowie. That's why. There's nothing I like about that movie. I don't like Jim Henson because the Muppets also creeped me out. So it would be logical that David Bowie would be in that. I wouldn't have seen that. Ugh. Oops. They just give me the willies. I don't know why. Number 20. What was Roger Rabbit's wife's name? That was Jessica. That one I know. I wanted to be Jessica because she was so pretty. If you are one of the two people that have lasted this long for this video, leave me a comment down below and um, let me know that you've actually watched the whole thing because um, I would have clicked off by now of this. I, I have nothing interesting to say. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, go click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one right here, that one, right there, is one YouTube just picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!